Hi everyone, my name is Diane Whitley and I work at Park to High Park Early On Child and Family Center and I am the Office Administrator. Hi, my name is Christian Morgan. I'm a family support worker at the same place. And my name is Glenda Diaz. I am also a family support worker. So today we're gonna to be sharing some tips on routines. The routines are repeated predictable events that provide a foundation of daily tasks in a child's life. Maintaining a consistent daily routine as much as possible can make it easier for children to deal with stressful events because they know what to expect from their environment. Slide changes aren't very snappy. <laughs> So why are routines helpful? So routines are comforting for both adults and children. They can help everyone feel more relaxed because of their predictability. Routines can help you know, keep us grown up sang, sane and also help our little ones grow up healthy. Children have limited control over their lives, so routines comfort them and provide a sense of safety, which builds a, a trust and security that will help them explore, grow, and develop. Um, this point is really good for routines can help us can keep us grown up sane and so it, it's really helpful for those of us who may be a little extra sleepy. A routine can be created for any part of the day, leaving the house, lunchtime, nap time, bath time, and bedtime. A routine for bath time might be undressing baby, wrapping them in a towel, singing a song as you put them in the tub, applying lotion when you take them out. By the time your baby is six months old, they will recognize some routines. As children get older and have routines, they know what is coming next. And this creates a sense of safety and predictability. Then we're gonna cover why routines are good for children. But like any information that we give you, please take what works for your family and use what works for you. Not everything will always be helpful to every family. Everybody is different. So some children like and need routine more than others. So if you know that your child is the, has a type of temperament that needs to know what's coming next, a routine will definitely help with transitions. They can help teach children healthy habits, having a routine for brushing teeth, getting exercise, washing their hands, after using the toilet just makes it part of their day. An organized and predictable environment helps children feel safe and secure. Routines built around fun or spending time together strengthen, strengthens the relationships between parent and child. So you can read a story together before bedtime or have a special snack time together. And this can become a special time together. And usually a lot of the times children really look forward to this. Daily routines help set our body clocks. So a child, when they have a regular bedtime routine, their body starts to recognize it's time for me to go to sleep now. Uh, having an important job to do in the family routine helps children develop a sense of responsibility and belonging. Routines help develop basic work and time management skills, which is something that they will need as they move into school and move on into adulthood. Routines can be even more important for children who find it hard to understand or cope with change because it gives them predictability especially now in these times when there's so much change for children and everything is new for adults and the kids, it's good to have a routine so they know what's coming next. Why are routines, why routines are good for parents? Although routines take some effort to create, once established, they have the following benefits. Regular and consistent routines can help you feel accomplished as a parent. When things are hectic, routines can help you feel more organized, which lowers stress. A routine will help you complete your daily tasks efficiently. As children get better at following a routine by themselves, you can give fewer instructions. Routines free you from having to constantly resolve disputes and make decisions. If Sunday night is pizza night, no one needs to argue about what's for dinner. It's a good one. Pizza night. Uh, different, there's lots of different kinds of routines. So uh, like, I like this point. Routines used by families are as diverse as families themselves. So it's, it's a, you know, one size fits all kind of thing. <laughs> there's all kinds of different routines to choose from. 
Uh, some that you may want to consider are, well, for the toddlers and preschoolers, getting ready in the morning, bedtime routine, eating meals, regular play and talk times with a parent each day, story time, book reading, quiet time each evening. We just, uh, we just started a new routine with my eight-year-old and because um, he stopped sleeping at night, I mean, in the afternoon, he wasn't doing nap time. So then we, we started a, a rest time in the afternoon after months of not having a nap time. And now that I'm kind of back at work, <laughs> now he needs a rest time so mommy can have a rest while baby's having a sleep. And yeah, it's very important. Yeah, and at different ages and stages, sometimes you have to go back and say, this is something that you need. I can see that you're extra tired, so it's important to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, with school-age children, some routines you might want to consider are hygiene and health. So like we talked about earlier, brushing teeth and washing hands. And the more you make it part of their day, they get used to having, these are the steps that we do to take care of ourselves each day getting ready for school, especially with school starting. So whether you're going to school in person or you are going to be doing school at home, it's important to establish a routine and have a specific area designated where they will be doing school. Having an after school routine, regular bedtime and a bedtime routine. Having chores such as setting the table, uh, setting and clearing the dinner table, tidying up, looking after toys, helping with the laundry or emptying the dishwasher if you have one. For all ages, preparing and eating meals together, family days like family activities, family movie nights, family meetings, taking turns talking about their day, special one-on-one -on -one time with a parent, regular contact with extended family and friends, saying prayers or observing religious events. So what else can routines help with? We got uh, in big here, power struggles. Routines can bring you and your child closer together and reduce power struggles. They can sometimes get a little intense. So it's good to know what's coming up, right? So stable routines allow children to anticipate what will happen next. This gives them com confidence and also a sense of control. You can practice introducing routines by indicating it is bedtime. Would you like to brush your teeth now or after we get your pajamas on? Giving a sense of control while implementing the routine. Routines can also limit the amount of no's and behavior corrections you need to give throughout the day since your child can better predict what should happen next. You can communicate a first then message. For example, I know you want a cracker, but it is cleanup time now. After cleanup, it is snack time. And so on and so forth. <laughs> First then that. It also helps with safety. So they can help to guide positive behavior and safety in children. So they're like, routines are like instructions. They give children's actions, they guide children's actions towards a specific goal. They can be used for many reasons, such as ensuring a child's health and safety, helping children learn positive, responsible behavior. For example, children wash hands before they have snack, or they must hold an adult's hand when crossing the street. When you make this part of your day, this is what we do. Coming up to the street light, our routine is you hold my hand because you need to so that you can stay safe. It just becomes a natural progression. And if you're consistent about it, there isn't going to be a fight or a power struggle about it. Social skills. Routine support and develop children's social skills. As, children's, as children grow, they come into contact with more people and begin to learn patterns and routines for social interaction. Greetings, goodbyes, and speaking with others are examples of routine interactions that teach social skills. These interactions are also opportunities for children to develop language skills. Playtime and mealtime are two routines that are very social times for children and parents alike. Through talking, taking turns, sharing toys, learning to wait, and helping others during these activities, young children learn important social skills that will help them later on in the school. Oh, and transitions. Routines help children cope with transitions. 
depending on your child's temperament, the, which is the way they react to the world, transitions between activities may be easy or more difficult. Going from play to lunch or from lunch to the store or from the store to home and especially transitioning to bedtime can be challenging. Routines like bedtime routines can help make transitions easier. Some parents use a timer or a five minute warning to prepare for a change in activity. Others use a book or a song or a special game. And routines definitely really help. So here's how to get started. And this isn't by any means you follow these steps and it's gonna work for sure. Um, being consistent, having to try different things, sometimes going back to step one. So first, choose a routine that's been really tough lately. So a lot of people struggle with bedtime. And sometimes it turns into an hour and a half of too much coaxing and negotiation. And then by the time you finally get them in bed, you're exhaust too exhausted to do anything and you just need to go to bed yourself. So one of the ways that you can help with this is to list all the steps. So these are some steps that you could have. It could look different in your family. So close off and into the hamper. Then you can have bath. Next, we put on PJs. We brush our teeth, story, a lullaby, and then lights out. It's important to talk through each step with your child as you do it. You can also involve them if they're old enough. What are the steps that we do? A lot of the times they already know them, and then they can help you with what order they'd like to put them in. So you can, you know, if they're brushing your te teeth, now it's time to brush your teeth. When you get to the last step, tell your child, we just finished your lullaby, now it's time to say goodnight. When first implementing a new routine, uh, countdown reminders are helpful. You can give 15, 10, five minute reminders to ease them into a new routine. And being consistent about it is also helpful. You can create a reminder in pictures. If you have time to take pictures and print them out, or you can find pictures online and print them and use them. You can make a chart by displaying the pictures in order. You, this is also another step that your child can help you with. And then they'll be able to look at the picture and know what comes next. Yeah. And like I had said earlier, make your child part of the routine. Show your child the pictures and that way they know consistently what's coming up next. So here are some final points. Remember new routines don't happen overnight. It takes practice to build a new habit plus a few tries to see what works best for your child and family. Family. It's helpful if someone else needs to support your child in their routine to have a visual schedule. This helps everyone know what comes next. It may feel like a lot of work at first, but with time and experience, you'll find new routines smooth the way for everyone in your family. We usually talk too about like uh, how routines are different from schedules, right? And that, that, that didn't come up, but uh, so instead of thinking, you know, we start at this time and then we do the next thing after 10 minutes has gone by, it shouldn't be like that, right? It shouldn't be a scheduled thing. It should be more of a, we do these things in a row. <laughs> yeah, and it depends also on the age of the child. So for babies, we're not gonna have them on a schedule. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to have them on a routine. So if I see, I know my baby really well, and I know that when they're really fussy, that's a sign to me that says they're getting tired. So let me start doing either their nap routine or bedtime routine. With older children, we do want to have somewhat of a time frame, um, especially with bedtime. Um, you know, at nighttime, we don't want their routine to end up being two hours long, and then they're in bed by like 10 o'clock at night, because then they really, really need the sleep. But being consistent about a routine then helps to lessen the time because they know what comes next and what needs to happen next. And routines are more flexible too. Yep. Awesome. So this is where the information was gathered from. If you are interested in reading more about routines, the zero to three dot org website is really great. And it, even though it is American, it is very, it is very useful and very helpful. And then I also found more information on healthyfamiliesbc.ca. They also have more articles about routines. So we definitely hope that this was helpful. And again, take what works for your family. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Bye. Bye.
Bye.